Hey guys, what's up? Nawangi here, back again with another video. So today, as I believe, the 4th anniversary banners that are supposedly coming to Global.com. I don't know by memory the exact date of the Global 4th anniversary. I don't know when these banners are coming out on Global, obviously, either. But I did want to discuss them. Typically, I didn't mention this in my last video discussing banners. Banners are never or almost never the same from GP to Global. They have a few different units on there or they just switch them out. Prime example is the mm, transforming Goku and Frieza. Everyone was hoping, oh, hopefully it's Turles is on that banner. Hopefully Turles is, is since it was on GP and it wasn't. Which was a major disappointment to everyone uh so that's just a minor disclaimer anyways let's just get right into the video if you haven't already make sure you subscribe hit that like button and hit that bell so you can see when i post content <laughs> if i post content anyways let's just get started into this uh the rates here they are ssr 10 percent feature cards five percent you know the normal stuff uh, here are the cards from JP that damned SR trunks <laughs> You're gonna be seeing him a lot on your global accounts. I'll say that much. He's definitely gonna be on this banner um, but here's the prime the, the the great one and only Super Saiyan for Vegeta He he leads STR his um, leader skills STR and Vegeta's family. We can get to the exact numbers um, when we go on the Dokkan wiki. Uh, here's the Super, not Super 17. Here's the Android 17. He leads, I'm pretty sure it's physical or super physical types 90% after awakening and um, some percent. Um, for Android categories, he's the main lead. Uh, you got the Tech Freezer, 120% Extreme Class, and he's a pretty good transforming unit, and that Trunks is really good on his categories. The Vegeta, probably with the most free-to-play team that I can think of out there on Global and, Do and Dokkan in general. Turles, he's a really sought-after unit, just a really good support type unit, does a lot of damage. Physical Vegeta. Here is the big moment, all right? I really want to talk about this because this Vegeta, he's been on Global for a little while. And when he awakens, he his leader skill becomes pretty decent, you know? 120% of Vegeta family, 90% of physical types or something like that. But he starts like just becoming insane of a unit. I'm, I'm gonna pull up his stats and it's like, let me just see if I can get like a cool debrief and uh, no 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 since i don't got it based off of memory um i'll just pull up his stats as well this Maj vegeta um he is just a really good unit overall 120 percent 90 percent you know stuff like that just a really good unit overall um almost exact to the Maj vegeta and then the second LR that we have is the Gogeta. I'm not gonna go over him, just an amazing unit. And the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I'm not gonna go over him, amazing unit. Super Saiyan 4 Trunks, he's just one of those SSRs they throw around the banner. There's always like one or two if it's even a decent or okay banner. It's always the, those that one or two that were in it. But here, there's the SSR. Uh, who can make you rage, uh, but let's not get into that. Um, we shall get into the stats of these units, so just get the stats for the units that you got. Alright, so here are the stats for the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta LR. Vegeta's family, 130% to HP, attack and defense is 170%. 
which I don't like too much. Um, I don't really like that attack and defense up 170%. Um, because that HP is definitely going to be hurting. I like that the second theory lead is pretty good though. Massively raises attack for one turn. Massively raises attack and defense for one turn. That's really good. That's really good. Now it's passive. Attack, defense up 80% and attack up 20% at start of each turn. Up to 80%. Um, which is worded very weirdly. I'll have to look a bit deeper into that, but mm. Key plus two in addition per Rainbow and STR key obtained now. This is ridiculous because I shouldn't have to get into rainbow two units Keep two units. They're just crazy, but his own type of orb is getting double so that means he's getting the two and then he's getting three key so if you're collecting his type you're almost always going to be getting that ultra 18 key super you know and uh if you want to hear it like i don't know if i can play it uh, here i am it's something 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 final shine attack probably some vegeta saving something cocky as usual into a powerful attack that he'll release on the opponent which is his, um, I forget the word for it, um, this is his Sorry, minor interruption, um, uh, as I was saying, that's the active skill we're going to be getting that does decent damage, massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy, can be activated starting from the fourth turn, so that's basically the two turns that he's on rotation, so you see him once, you see him again, boom, he has it. And he's it's gonna be doing some decent damage. It's not gonna be it's, it's gonna be pretty strong. And it's gonna make him stronger. Uh his links, Super Saiyan, uh, let's say in war. Mm. Prepared for battle, yes. GT <laughs> That's iffy. But we'll touch up on that later. His categories, Shadow Dragon Saga, that you, yeah, Pure Saiyans, and Vegeta Family. Um, he, his stats, they, they are, don't have to explain them. Um, so yeah, and this is TR, uh, oh, right there. Um, give me a second, I'm gonna go ahead and check to see if my audio is still acting good. Okay. Okay, it's fine. So, as I was saying, he is a really good unit, you know? He, he just, he's just overall a really good unit lead. His abilities is match up with each other. He doesn't struggle with key. Um, yeah, he's just great. Alright? And his category is pretty good too. I'll check that out on DBZ Space. Another minor interruption, back to the video. So, we are this Majin Vegeta. I, I should just go over all of the stuff that makes this unit actually uncomparable on this team. First of all, STR, so he's getting all of the leader skill. Got it. Second of all, raises attack for one turn, so he's... He, He's doing okay damage. Changing his AGL to STR. So he's giving everyone more key. He's giving Vegeta more key. So just in case he wasn't going to get the full, you know, because his links aren't really there, he's going to be getting key because of this Vegeta. And we already know what he does with those key. Alright. And we already know what he does with those key spears. His attack and defense goes up 17% per key spear team. Plus an additional attack and defense, plus three when there is a Goku family. So basically he gets 20% per key spear when he's fighting a Goku family category. Um, which is, it's I. Uh, you're not going to be stealing too much key from him because you're going to be having that Vegeta. He has royal lineage and over in the flash. He doesn't really work that well with the Vegeta. He has shattering the limit though. 
And it's not all about the Vegeta. He can work by himself. I already told you guys that earlier. He can. He he's fine on his own. He doesn't need a bunch of passes. This is more for other units, like this guy. Where is he? Okay. So this Vegeta gets his awakening. Eat free to play. I mean free to play. Uh, uh key spears. There's the moment in the anime. What? That looks like my blast. Anyways, you know, 120%, 90%, basically a copy. Raises attack and defense, causes supreme damage. Key plus one at the start of turn. Hmm. Attack is 60% when there's a Goku family category enemy. Eh. Attack and defense plus 90% when performing a super attack. So he's getting attack and defense and attack and defense. Key plus six and defense plus 60% when HP is 60% or below. Um, that's a bit harder to do um, with his category since it's so good, but let's just get into his links. Royal Lineage. Sounds familiar. Uh, prepare for battle. Sounds familiar. Shattering the limit. Sounds familiar. A lot of Vegeta units have shattering the limit. Majin Vegeta's, this Vegeta, um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, I believe. He has shattering the limit as well. Because that's a Vegeta. He's always pushing that boundary, you know? And that's just going to be on a lot of his cards. Coincidence? I think not. Alright. Now we're going to start getting into... Let me just close these tabs. Now we're going to start getting into... The Goku Sama. He is right here. You know, at the same rate. Just difference in total cards. This is a bit random, but Jiren's on here. You know, it's just like, yeah, we're, we're throwing Jiren. Amazing unit. No more, no less. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the unit you're supposed to be shooting for. Uh, Transforming Goku, really good unit on the team. Have to get into him later. Tech Goku, um, he's not as good as a unit on this team. No, he's not as good as a pairing partner. Well, no, no, no. He, he's really, he's good, he's good. I'll get into him later. Um, and this is Goku. He works the same way as a Vegeta, just in reverse. I'll get into him. I'm not going to get into that Vegeta, alright. He's, okay. He's a good, you know, you want to shoot her right? You are Goku. Ki he's kind of old. Kind of, not really kind of old, but he's getting a bit old, but... He's still he's still good, but no high he's still doing high damages. Halo Goku really? Halo Frieza, he's I don't wanna say he's he's not bad, but his passive is eh, it's very mad. Super Saiyan 4 Goku amazing unit. The Super Saiyan uh GT Goku I haven't even awakened him. I need to check him out. So I'll discuss him. And that SR Goku becomes a very mediocre but okay um, SSR that beginning people can possibly probably use for Super Battle Road at the early stage. Is. So let's just go on the Dokkan Wiki and discuss the units we need to discuss. Alright, so let's just get into this. Uh, let me scroll down to stats. Alright, here we are. 170% to Goku family. I like this one a lot more. It's HP and attack, 170% in defense, 130%. This is what I like to see. This is perfect. And with the secondary passive, that's really good. We got massively raises defense for one turn. And we got massively raises attack and defense for one turn. Like a reverse Vegeta, which is kind of similar to these Goku and Vegeta Clash cards. Clash, this isn't really much of a Clash card, just a comparison card, but you know what I mean. Um, let's just get into the passive. His attack goes up 80% and his defense plus 20% at the start of each turn, up to 80%. I I've, I've figured it out, I used my brain for a second. Um, I forget when they use and. I don't really get the 80% because it makes it seem like 
the A percent applies to both parts, but the and is completely separate. So the defense is going to go up every single turn up to 80 percent. D plus two input AGL version of Vegeta. Just I don't have to go over it. Now his are a lot a bit more viable, but to prepare for battle because that's what most Goku cards have. Uh, GT, you know. Now I, I don't know. And I think I may have passed it. Where is it? There it is. Massively wasted attack temporarily and cause ultimate damage to enemy can be started from the fourth turn, very similar to the Vegeta. I think it's exact actually. Um, so yeah. Let me just get into why this is so just just um, just perfect, you know? All in the thing Link prepared for battle, there we go. Uh yeah, it's about all his key gets. But he's back in a wait. What am I looking at exactly? Oh, I'm sorry. Just looking at it. Okay, wrong unit. So here's the Super Saiyan transforming Goku, a really good unit on this team. Super class 120%, raise attack and defense. Uh, blah 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 blah. You know, th these aren't his true stats. But let's just get into the one use. Let's just go one by one by it. Um, don't know why I won't let me see. Up, oh, he's Super Saiyan 2 Goku. He gets attack, attack and defense. You know, defense 60%, reduces the damage received by 22%. Transforms the next turn. He gets a hundred attack. You, you, you get you you get the pattern. And if he God Goku, I think it changes up possibly. No. Not that much. And then if you get to him, guaranteed crit on first super attack. Uh great chance to stun enemy. Uh Attack and defense, attack 120%, reduces damage received by 25%, so it's not too bad. Uh, it's a good unit. He has shocking speed. His links change. I'm not gonna go over every link, all the links, but it's, it's, he's a good unit, you know, he just changes a lot and adapt. You just have to adapt to it. And here, the real Kaioken Goku with the Kaioken! Uh, he gets 120% Goku family, 90% tech, you know, uh, raise attack and defense on, on, upon attack, doing supreme damage, okay. Key plus one is copy of Vegeta, but defense 60%, which I prefer. And then when there is a Vegeta's family, uh, when there's a Vegeta's family, you get 60%. Attack and defense plus 90% when performing a super attack, nice. And then he gets the key plus six and attack sixty percent when his HP is under sixty percent. Over in a flash, shocking speed, saying lineage, shock, shattering the limit. He has a lot of key links. I'd say he's just a good unit with a farmable SA. So I'll always take that. Uh, and going over our last unit, Super Saiyan Two Goku versus Vegeta. Uh, there's the stats, I'm not gonna go over it. He greatly raises his defense, he changes well, blah, 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 blah. He recovers 7,777 HP per key spare tank. Interesting. Plus an additional attack and defense, plus three. So he's getting 30, 20% attack and 10% defense per key spare attained when there's a Vegeta category enemy. His links prepared for battle, shattering the limit. And he's gonna be helping out that Goku just like the Maja Vegeta helps out the Vegeta. So that's about all the units. I don't have a straight memory from how many stones we get around this time, but I will say you need I would recommend every player start saving for this banner. I understand like that that Gohan was really good um I should have made a video telling you guys to maybe not go to him on that banner um 
but I didn't so that's my bad but this banner is really good um, oh I forgot one unit I'll go over him I'll go over him all right all right here we go he gets me in. okay he plus three so he's just supporting himself completely attacking the attack up to 100% when he is plus three uh, I gotta charge up my phone. He gets key plus three and attack up a hundred percent. When the key is nine or more, so you only need six more key to get defense one hundred twenty percent and a medium chance to perform a crit hit for four turns after performing a super attack. That's ridiculous. This is a crazy unit. He went. I think he has a farmable essay maybe, um, but he's just really he's amazing. Um, uh, no, it doesn't say anything about that, so no, he doesn't have a farmable essay. He is links, key links, prepare for battle, GT, and eh. the Saint lineage, as all these Gokus, I think, have a fierce battle, like a lot of these Gokus have. So, as I was previously saying, you should save for these banners. You get, these are some really good units that you're getting, all right? And as the truth's been spouting out um, about red coins, these, I think, if they don't do it beforehand, these are when they start, they uh, release the red coins. So all the players that have been wisely saving up their Dokkan stones, not saying you aren't wise if you haven't, but it was a smart decision if you did, you're going to have a decent amount. I believe these are discount banners, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Um, but you're getting a lot of red, you're getting a lot of red stones. You have a chance to pull two LRs on this banner, um, uh, some really good TURs as well that link up really well with the leader. I would really recommend you start saving for this banner, start grinding up your stones and get ready. Um, before I close out this video, I will say they do give out a decent amount of stones. If we don't hit uh, the app store, um, I would be very surprised. Almost just like, what? Because this banner is top tier. So you're going to get about 30 to 50 stones right there. You're going to see like... A decent amount of stones from logins and just playing the game in general they're gonna give us a lot of rewards like challenges you can do those and I believe yeah we have the Omega Shenron easy a 30 stones and then you have the easy a Goku kid go Co Goku from the Goku jr. movie um, not the EZA, the Goku Jr. He is getting an EZA, another 30 stones. And then you have the physical Vegeta who's getting an EZA, another 30 stones. So if you put that together, you're getting about 120 plus stones if you're doing all the EZAs that really aren't too hard as long as you've been playing the game for an oh, and a, about a month or so. Um, but. All I gotta say is if you haven't been saving, I would say now is the time. There's a lot of good units on this banner. You're gonna get a lot of stones, but I wouldn't say abuse that chance and save up even more than that. If you guys enjoyed the video, as I said previously, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Peace. You get the